well i hope by the question itself that is there on the thumbnail you know what we are going to discuss so when we are going to discuss is it possible to reduce visibility of a method that we have inherited from the parent class right so this is what our question is and surely we will be having a proper discussion on that and let me tell you it is sort of tricky and one of the most asked interview question in the java interview part right so before having the discussion on the same if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now then guys make sure to subscribe as you must be knowing that we have started a java interview series on the channel the first video has already been live and we have discussed one of the most important interview question in that video as well i have provided the link in the description do check it out so without having much discussion on these things let's discuss about this question so what this question actually means first of all let me give you a context let's say you are having a parent class right in which you are having some function okay let's say the function name is foo or func any now any name you can give right so this is the function we are having in the parent class in child class as well we are having the same function right so if in the parent class the access modifier for this particular function is let's say mm -mm. okay if it is pub public right so the question asks can we reduce the visibility of that particular function in the child class it means if i am doing like this here the access modifier is public now i have restricted this further in the child class i have made this private right so what i'm doing is i'm restricting so is it possible can we do something like this well no if we'll try to do you will surely get an error you will be getting a compiled time error itself that you cannot reduce the visibility of a inherited method right so always remember that you cannot reduce the visibility okay if here we were having something like this in, in in let's say if here we were having something like this private right so you can always increase the visibility that's the possible case that should be equal or you can increase the visibility but you cannot restrict it so here if i'm making it as public so that's that's totally valid right but you can never reduce or restrict the visibility of a method that you have taken from the parent class so to have a theoretical discussion on that i mean you must have got the idea right so i found a very amazing discussion on the stack overflow so let me show you that as well you can go through the things that they have mentioned like how they have answered this question as if this is what this is a one of the most asked interview questions so i'm sure that will be helpful for you so let's have a look on that as well well as you can see here right so here we are having a parent class right in this we are having a function func right and here the access modifier is public on the other hand this is the child class test class that has extended the parent class here uh, we are you can see we are reducing we are restricting it further this func class that is overridden in the child class we are making this private which is not allowed even that is what is specified in the question so why that's the case so here this is the answer that i found super useful and super explanatory let's let's go through it once and later on you can also uh, go through it i will be providing the link for the same in the description that the access modifier of an overriding or hiding method must provide at least that's what i was mentioning at least as much access as the overridden or hidden method okay or even more than that you can do like at least that much should be there or a compile time error will occur right that's that's what is happening right if the overridden or hidden method is public then the overriding or hiding method must be public otherwise what you'll be getting is a compile time error if it is not product it is protected then it should be the overriding or hiding method must be protected or public otherwise compile time error same if it is default if the access modifier is default then the overriding should be overriding should not be private right otherwise you'll be getting a compile time error hope you must have understood the question and the explanation as well let me know your thoughts in the comment section and let me know if ever the same question has been asked to you in your interview so, right and uh, let me know about the series as well so thank you for watching this video guys keep learning keep preparing for your interviews and if any of you is having the interview in upcoming days all the best guys thank you for watching bye bye